Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Chicago, Illinois, in front of the famous Hamburger University. And right next to it, if you didn't know, is a McDonald's that serves items from McDonald's global menu. I had no idea this existed. You know all those times that I wish, and I'm sure a lot of you guys wish, that McDonald's would bring global menu items to the US? Well, here it is. And the menu changes all the time, so I have no idea which global menu item is in there right now. Let's go check it out. So here it is, as soon as you walk in, there's a bunch of kiosks to order. And like I said, it's not every single international menu item. They change it, I, I hear frequently, and I have no idea what's on this menu today. Okay, so global favorites. There's a triple onion burger from South Korea, homestyle chicken from the Netherlands, sweet potato fries also from the Netherlands. Out of stock sprinkled donuts, out of stock, okay. Uh, pistachio McFlurry, white chocolate McPop. I don't know what a McPop is. I want one. So let's get this. Homestyle chicken. Sweet potato fries. So this is Spain, McPop mix. And the rest is just McDonald's regular menu. Oh, blueberry and cream pie. Heck yeah. Shamrock shake. Grape jam, interesting. There we go, the McPops. McPie, McCafe Pie. I think this is the chicken. This is the burger. So this is the onion burger. It looks like crispy onions, some mayonnaise, cheese, beef patty on a lettuce. Oh, also purple onions here as well. Sweet potato fries. This is the home style chicken. Fresh lettuce, bacon, Swiss cheese, fried chicken patty on the bottom. These are to make pops. Basically, it's a donut hole with cream stuffed inside. And I know this is not an international menu item. This is McDonald's. Kind of, it's kind of a new, newer menu item. It came back after five years. Blueberry and cream pie. All right, so let's try this. The Korean onion burger. I'll get my complaints out of the way. Fries are extremely soggy. I mean, I just ordered these. Not crispy at all. I feel like the patty itself is a bit dry. With that said, flavor-wise, this is a delicious burger. I love the crunch of the fried onions on top. I like the raw onions bringing a bit of bite. The sauce is good, the cheese is good. If only this patty was a little bit more juicy, this will be an excellent burger. But yeah, I see the potential, but the execution is really not there. Sweet potato fries. Just like their uh, less sweet cousin, super stale. They're uh, not even hot anymore. The home style chicken. Again, good sandwich done in by the dry chicken patty. Bacon is good, it's crispy. The outside of chicken still retains a nice little crunch, but that patty is dry. I think the sauce is some sort of spicy mayo. I mean, again, flavor is good. I like the bun, love the bacon. I don't know if I, it's because I came here an hour before they closed. Maybe if I would've came here when it's busy, so they're making fresh ones, this would've been really good. But no matter how good the flavor of a chicken sandwich is, but when the chicken is dry, it's Robert Pattinson's humor. It's not good. I'm excited to try these little donut holes. I mean, I get what they are, little donut holes. So it doesn't make it any less exciting. Oh yeah, like just a little bit of cream inside a donut hole. Rebranded as a McPop. I mean, it's not bad, it's airy, it's fluffy. Probably pairs really well with the McDonald's coffee. Melted chocolate inside. Not bad, hard to mess this up though. This I'm really excited for. Blueberry cream pie. I know this is not an international item, like I said before. This item did a whole gone snack thing, disappeared for a few years, came back, but I feel like it's gonna be good. This is delicious. Finally, an alternative. I mean, it's no mango peach pie from Singapore, but it's delicious. Crust is nice and flaky. This is probably the warmest of the food I've gotten tonight. The blueberry and cream is good. This is good. Dinner time here in Chinatown. Friend barbecue, this is a chain now. These things have been popping up all around the country. This, oh, this is really cool. It's kind of overflowing a little bit. <laughs> There's a hot pot filled with 30 different skewers. In addition to the, I think close to 30 or 40 that I, I ordered. Also, garlic eggplant. 
and barbecue leek. Leek is pretty good. Mmm. I love the eggplant. Lamb's a little dry though. So this comes in a set of 30 random skewers. There's, looks like, oh, tripe. There's seaweed, there's fish cakes. I think it's good. If you come here, definitely eat this first. Otherwise this flavor might just be overpowered by the skewers flavor, but look at this. Sitting in spicy and numbing broth. It just feels really good on a cold day. Oh, this is really good. Enoki mushrooms wrapped with, uh, I think, fatty beef. And I ordered this, grilled scallops and noodles and garlic. Wait, where's my scallop though? That's a, kind of a small scallop. <laughs> mm. This tastes really good though. This score is pretty good. Some pieces are a little dry. This is very, very nice. Spicy potato salad. I hope that's all I ordered. Sometimes I can't control myself. On a cold night, spicy skewers, just like hot power ramen, is really gonna make you feel good. Tofu skin. Yeah, definitely. Do the hot pot before the other skewers. This is gonna be a warm belly kind of night. Hi, this is a continuation of the last video I did here at McDonald University. I think that was several weeks ago, back again in Chicago. And the international menu items here have changed. Also, I'm here for breakfast, so let's see what they got. All right, breakfast, let's see here. This is the international item they have here. It's from Korea, avocado egg McMuffin. Okay, matcha McFlurry with Oreo, heck yes. Thank you. Thank Thanks so much. It is, wait, this is water. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, there it is. Thank you so much. Ah, oh, I'm mean, worried. I thought for some reason, like, it was a Ronald McDonald magic trick where he turns McFlurries into water. Worst trick ever. Here it is. The avocado egg McMuffin. It's basically just an egg McMuffin with avocado and some kind of chili sauce. And I don't know why this would be something that's on the Korean menu. That's more American than Korea. What that said. This is probably one of the best egg McMuffins I ever put in my mouth. Avocado is nice and creamy. The egg tastes actually fresh. Biscuit is nice and toasty. Sauce wise, it's a little sweet. I don't taste any spice. Oh, okay. It's hitting me a little bit, like a tiny little bit, like a fraction of a Taco Bell mild sauce. I'm thinking this is some sort of gochujang sauce that they put on this. I wish it was spicier, but it is pretty tasty with the egg and ham and avocado. Also, Gotta give McDonald's some credit. Usually they just take uh, different ingredients and kind of kind of shift them around and call it a brand new sandwich. At least they did add avocado in here. And that's something they don't usually have, so baby steps. This I'm really excited about. This is the Matcha McFlurry, and this is from Japan. Look at this. I think crumble cookies in this as well. This is good. It looks like matcha syrup they added in here. It just tastes really, really artificial. I mean, it has a little bit of matcha flavor. Otherwise, it just tastes like something coming out of a squeeze bottle with that rabbit in the front. If they just used some sort of real matcha powder and blended it in with this, it would have been so much better. I mean, it's so good. It's a McFlurry, so it can't be that bad, but you definitely missed on this one. All right, I came here about 10 o'clock, so right now, 12 minutes till lunch. Let's see what they got then. Bacon Big Mac. Big Spicy from Hong Kong. Taco Shaker Fries from Finland. And we got the Matcha McFlurry from Japan. All right, so Taco Shaker Fries from Finland. So Avocado McMuffin from Korea. Taco Shaker Fries from Finland. Wouldn't that be from Mexico? Are they big on tacos in Finland? I don't, I don't know. All right, so they give you a seasoning pack. Take your bag, dump your fries in. I just want to say, fries are super fresh this time. Super fresh, right out of the fryer. They taste how you would expect McDonald's fries to taste. Amazing. McShaker goes into the bag. Shake it up.
There it is. I didn't really expect it, but this is freaking awesome. I mean, it helps greatly that the fries are so fresh. Oh, the seasoning tastes like I'm eating fajita fries. You taste the spiciness from the chili, the smokiness from the paprika. There's some really aromatic herbs on this as well. It tastes like a delicious Mexican dry rub from Finland. I'm happy yet confused. Let's just get this out of the way. At local McDonald's, Big Macs don't usually come with bacon. This is on the global, I, I didn't really understand the globe icon besides the, beside the Big Mac. And there's the bacon. Three slices of bacon puts this thing on the global menu. I think I mainly got it because I haven't had a Big Mac in a long, long time. I just miss having a Big Mac. I also miss the days when Big Macs were actually big. The bacon is actually a really nice addition to the Big Mac. I don't know why they don't just make that standard across the world. I mean, this thing is actually really crispy and that goes really, really well with that tender patty. And of course, an awesome Big Mac sauce. Seriously, McDonald's, put bacon on your Big Macs. Finally, the McSpicy from Hong Kong. So sesame bun, pretty nice sized chicken cutlet, mayo, I don't see a spicy sauce, so I'm guessing the cutlet itself is gonna contain the heat. It's a nice sized sandwich, it's a freshly made sandwich. I can feel the burning heat of the chicken through that bun. I'm thinking this is gonna be juicy. This is awesome, awesome, awesome. Not as spicy as the spicy, spicy McChicken from Dubai. Really crispy outer breading. You can see the chilies right inside the outer shell. And look at this juicy patty. This thing, I think if you get one that's freshly made, it's pretty much everything you want in a spicy chicken sandwich. One of the best chicken sandwiches I've had in McDonald's in the US, for sure. Yeah, everything was great today, except for that artificially tasting matcha McFlurry. But hey, whenever a McDonald's McFlurry machine is not broken, you can actually get a McFlurry. I count that as a win. All right, gonna finish up and uh, dessert. This place is supposed to have some of the best pies in Chicago. So they got savory pies and sweet pies and biscuits. Whoa, they got biscuits and gravy? Oh, heck yeah. Three dishes are here. Look at this. This is a fancy biscuits and gravy. Whoa, look at this knife. Beautiful. Runny egg on top. That is absolutely gorgeous. Sausage right beneath that. Freshly made biscuits. Oh, this thing just crumbled. Biscuits and gravy. That is so freaking good. <laughs> oh, that is so freaking good. Wow. Amazingly rich and peppery. What is this other flavor I'm tasting here? Oh, it's sage. That just makes it so fragrant. The sausage is delicious. Look how crumbly the biscuit is. I grew up eating biscuits and gravy in the Midwest. In college, I went to uh, Truman State University where whole town, like a population of like 15,000 people. Number one restaurant in town, this place called Pancake City. And they had this um, biscuits and gravy special where literally just give you this giant plate of biscuits and gravy for like three bucks. I can't even just stop eating this. This is so good. And I pretty much ate that every single day as a late night snack. So I have this love for biscuits and gravy. And this is just absolutely magnificent. Also with a creamy egg on top. The texture, the peppery flavor, everything about this. And it's just amazing. I've said this after moving to New York, best biscuits and gravy in the Midwest. Not even close. Next dish, this is the buffalo chicken pot pie. Look at this. Look how flaky this thing is. And there's blue cheese and uh, buffalo sauce in here. So not your typical chicken pot pie for sure. Whoa, this thing is just so funky. Get this only if you like blue cheese a lot because you are getting a ton of funk from that. Giant pieces of chicken, the crust is deliciously flaky. Peas inside as well, but definitely a whole lot of blue cheese flavor. 
I think it's delicious. I've had melted blue cheese over steak, which I think is awesome. Melted blue cheese over chicken pot pie. I liked it. Oh, add some more of this hot sauce. Ooh. I mean, the texture is so nice. Flaky crust on the outside, a little sweet pop from the piece, delicious chicken filling, and of course, that funk. Wow, I'm a fan of this. Finally, that sweet pie, it's chocolate coconut. I didn't know it was gluten-free until after I got it. I think I've never had a gluten-free pie before. Little dry shavings of coconut on top. Green, dark chocolate filling on top of a light crumbly crust and salted caramel drizzled on top as well. I seriously think there's not a bad food item on this menu. I really wanted to try their shrimp and grits as well. It's because someone got that and I sneaked a look. That looks so yummy too. But biscuits and gravy, mind blowing. Pot pie, exceptional. And this is so freaking delicious, I can't put this down. If you like pies, if you like any sort of comfort food, come try this place out, you won't be disappointed. I just got back. I don't know if you guys ever tried this before, but Starlight Coke, amazing. Literally tastes like I'm drinking glitter. Who are those graham cracker bear things? Anyway, like I mentioned in the beginning, this video is sponsored by HelloFresh. I've been talking about and recommending HelloFresh for years and there's many reasons I do so. Number one reason, it's absolutely delicious. I haven't had a single recipe, a single meal that I didn't absolutely love. Usually when I get it, I, I just cook it all. I'm telling myself like, I'll eat some now and save it for later. I can never save it for later. I just eat everything. And one of the reasons it's so delicious because HelloFresh recipes utilizes produce that goes from farm to your front door in under a week, which means their spring menu features the season's freshest flavors. Also, I really don't like going to the grocery store. Like I said, no self-control. I always end up buying way more than I need, and then I gotta think about what to cook, but with HelloFresh, it's really simple. Their step-by-step -step recipes are super easy to follow, and with pre-portioned ingredients, there's less prep time for you, and also less food waste. Also, there's fit and wholesome recipes, which makes it easier than ever to eat well without sacrificing flavor. And this allows you to maintain your goals, feel good about your food choices with HelloFresh. Like I said, if it's not delicious, I wouldn't recommend it. And I I absolutely love this meal kit. Try it out. I think you will as well. So if you want to give this a try, go to HelloFresh.com. Use my promo code CHEN16 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts. You'll be getting some delicious food and you're going to be supporting this channel as well. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later.